to tell you. I mean this from the bottom of the cavernous Ashfield place where I used to have a heart. I believe that Scott Russell is Canada's Brian Williams in a lot of ways. I'm looking forward to watching him bring the Sochi Games into our living rooms, the Olympic rings in your living room. The, the Olympic rings are a symbol recognized around the world. Symbols are powerful. We know that, right? Some have a deep meaning for people. Some do not. There's been a lot of talk about, well, certainly a lot of talk in Quebec about Bill 60. In English Canada, not a lot of talk, just a lot of outrage. Do you know the bill that proposes to ban the wearing of large religious symbols by government workers? Uh, and there's a lot of outrage and a lot of bluster on both sides. And that's what happens when you bring religion into the debate. So you gotta wonder just what in heaven by golly are they doing? <laughs> We're gonna get into it. What in heaven? What the f <laughs> Here's the panel. Oh my goodness, just take a look over here. And it says Mer's here, everybody. Oh, oh, kind. So nice to see you, buddy. You mind if I take my, uh, my shirt off before we get any further? Because it's a little bit too long. is here, too. Yeah, so Dan yeah, is just, here. Uh, brother, how are you? Nice to see you. Oh. Just take that. Oh. Make sure we get that in a shot right there. I, uh, which camera are we on? Which camera are we on? Speaking well, of symbols. Hold on a second. Speaking of symbols. No, just kidding. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> Thank you. Who do I, I, thought give I, the you a, to? I thought I sent you a baby tee. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> it, it fit on one of my arms. It was great. Derek, you're, I mean, you're a Quebecer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> what do you make of all this? Uh, good, uh, it's a little bit embarrassing. Thank you, Mr. Ford, for taking some of the attention away from how embarrassing it is to live in Quebec with racist people. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> you guys have a racist misogynist. It's perfect to distract <laughs> from our only racist. That's great. <laughs> you. Now, quite, now, honestly, do the, the, the religious symbols, seeing the religious symbols, does it bother you? No, quite honestly, it bothered me more to see like people that wear those surgical masks at the grocery store. Yeah. This religious symbol, you know what they believe. You know, like, oh, you believe in God? That's so nice for you. People with the surgical mask, you're like, what did they know? <laughs> what, why? We're just at the grocery store. What has happened here? Now, are, are religious symbols any different than any other thing? Like walking around with your favorite sports team or your favorite brand? Is that are they the same thing? Because there are a lot of people, a lot of people in the world who simply don't believe in any of this stuff. So to them, and for me. Wearing a Montreal Canadiens logo is as powerful well, as any. Yes. No, is anybody who wears. <laughs> right, you're a sorry, Leaf fan, aren't you? Well, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, George and I believe in, in the team that actually has documented proof, like okay. there's photographs of all our championships. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlike some of the religious symbols, we're like, oh, sure, we'll take your word for that. Right. <laughs> but right. we actually have 24 Stanley Cups. Right. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's a good one. <laughs> of the CBC symbol, because mm -hmm. it means there might be a paycheck coming my way. Right. I like the way that it's kind of like worlds coming together, or like, what is that symbol? Like, what is that it's, really? Um, well, uh, it's like an exploding pizza, and everybody knows <laughs> that pizza's great, yeah. and we're sharing the pizza. <laughs> That's I what believe this in is. it all the more now. See, I it's... always thought of it, it looks like a dodgeball being pushed through a deep fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, image, I guess, it so sliced up equally. Well. Yeah. So let's take the idea of symbols. When symbols really become entrenched, they take on other uh, powers, and sometimes those symbols are become icons, and we're gonna explore that right after this. That's right, my friends, we have a live studio audience and it's a lot of fun. It's even better, too, because, my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. All right, you're back here on the program. There's a lot of conversation about symbols. I want to show you guys symbols, and some of them are really, it's, it's iconography at this point, and, uh, and, and what you think the message is from these symbols. So this is one of the most, most recognizable symbols, icons in the world. Do you know what this is, Esmer? Uh, this is the London Underground. It is the London Subway. Underground, that's right. What does it mean to you? When I look at it, I think, uh, where is the sign for a taxi? <laughs> yeah. yeah, more of a cab guy. Uh, Derek, what does it mean to you? Uh, I, I didn't know it was the London Underground, so I uh, actually just reminded me that they just opened a Target in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is coming. <laughs> Cheap crap. Do all your shopping. Yeah. How about this one right here? Ever universal symbol. Uh, the, the yin and yang symbol, it makes me think that I really love it, but I also hate it. Oh, oh that's, very I, that's a little bit yes. smart. Yeah. Okay. It actually reminded me of the first time I did the manscape. I, I was married for a long time. We didn't manscape as married people. And then the first time I tried to manscape, I realized that I am very 
right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> so I could only get half the job done. <laughs> so my manscape was yin and yang. It was, uh... Derek Sagan, everybody. DerekSagan.com. And it's Edmer, uh, season five of The Listener. Starts taping in January. Watch for it on CTV. And Elmi Segas, Impulse International Festival in Bronx and Salt Pepper Theater in Toronto, December 12th to 15th. It's an honor to be with you. Good things.